to show you some video features. So I'm going to open up this presentation here. And I'm going to go to here. It's just a blank slide. Insert and video, which again is not a new feature. Insert video from file. And insert this video here. If I want to play that video, you can see this is just uh, Maya dragging me around back in uh, in the snow in January. So I'll stop that there. Uh, what I'm going to do is, with it selected, I can click on Corrections. This is a new feature, so all these Adjust options are new. Click on Corrections. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. I can make it a lot darker, not too dark. Say it was a murky day, or pretend it was a murky day, so we'll make it darker. I can adjust the colour. Or what should we have? Should we have a red, or let's go for a let's go for one of these, something like that. A nice cold December or January morning. Okay, video styles. So I could I could actually choose one of these. I could make it appear like that, give it kind of three dimensional effect. Or I could even change the video shape. So let's have a nice love heart there. How cool would it be to present something like this at a, a team meeting or something like that? Let's go back to video shape and just put it back to a, a rectangle and just put this, uh, this back to its default. Now, as well as being able to do all that, you can even edit the video. So with that selected, on the video tools tab on playback, I can choose a time that I want to fade the video in. So maybe fade it in after three and a half seconds. Let's play that. You can see after three and a half seconds we get a nice little crossfade. Come on stop. And I can trim the video as well. Whoever thought we'd see the day when you could trim video in PowerPoint. So I'm going to have it starting say at three seconds and ending there, click on OK. And then run it. So you can actually edit videos inside PowerPoint. So that's the video editing features. You've also got uh, image editing features. So, for example, um, if I use this one, if I use this one of, of the dog, which is, is well blown out, uh, select the image and under picture tools click on format and I've got things like corrections so if I want to darken it reduce the brightness and contrast I can do all those kind of things things that you know before you'd have to use Photoshop for or paint shop pro or something like that I've got color saturation so if I wanted to make it a, a black and white picture change the temperature all these kind of things Something like that. And I've got artistic effects as well. So all the things that you'd find in PowerPoint, uh, sorry, PowerPoint, uh, Photoshop, PaintShop Pro, those type of things. There we go. Mayor in his best environment. Looks like mud. It's sand, but it looks like mud. If I go on to, uh, to this picture here, a uh, picture when I was in Canada, I could do things on here. So uh, I maybe I, I want to change it, uh, have a tan background, make it, it look a, a little bit washed out because I'm trying to get a particular effect. Maybe change the brightness as well. So there's lots of things and the best thing to do really is to experiment with it. Now, having shown you all those wonderful features, what I will say is that the, those effects are only available in Windows 7. 
and I would guess Vista as well. I certainly have not run this under Vista. I've run it, run it under Windows 7. I first of all ran it under uh, XP and the corrections, the artistic effects and the colour were not available. The buttons were there, but they were greyed out. So you must be running it under Windows 7. And as I said, I would, I would guess with um, Vista as well. Finally, I'm going to show you how you can remove the background. So if I click on this, what I'm going to attempt to do is put the dog onto here, but knock out the screen, knock out the background of the screen. So I'll click on that and click on remove background. And it gives us this nice pink color. So I'm going to select the whole of the camera and as I say I want to get rid of this screen area so I'll choose mark areas to remove and I can either click do lots of clicks and I get lots of points or I can actually drag a line and drag another line I'm just doing this, I'm not being precise because I just want to give you an idea. As you can see, it's removed a bit too much there because it, it works on its internal colour algorithms. So I can actually add some back in, mark areas to keep and try and add that bit back in. OK, so assuming that's the bit I want to knock out, I'll keep the changes. You can see it's a little bit rough and ready, but I will bring the dog in. And with both of them selected, I can go to group. And that now becomes one group which I can move around. So very useful for doing something like that. Also very useful for if you've got, say, um, say it was a white background that the camera was on, but the slide was actually, say, a, a black background. And when you inserted the, the, the picture of the camera, you've got the white border around it. So it's, it's knocking it out there. Again, that is only available in Vista and Windows 7 as well.